Growing up, my mother told me a story about an aswang or witch in the Philippines. Aswangs are known to live in rural areas and have the ability to appear like any other human being. At night, they shift into predators and stalk their prey. They hunt for human flesh and their preference is children. My family can be quite superstitious, so my mom told me this story not to scare me but as a warning for me to not trust strangers so easily and so that I wouldn't go to sleepovers. This Aswang lived in a provincial village near the mountains. He had a daughter who he loved very much. However, he had a secret he kept hidden from her. He was a monster. He gave his daughter a pair of earrings as protection from him. She was mortal and was raised like any other young girl. One day, his daughter came home from school and asked him for permission to allow her friend to sleep over at their place later that week. He agreed, but told her that she had to keep her earrings on. He was looking forward to it. The day finally arrived. The friend came over after school and they had a fun-filled evening. The Aswang made sure he fed them both really well. After dinner, they went to the girl's bedroom and played games. The friend saw the daughter wearing the earrings and admired them. She asked if she could borrow them and the daughter agreed. She told her to make sure she gave them back before they fell asleep. After playing with their dolls, they fell asleep and she forgot to return the earrings. During the night, the Aswan came into their room. It was pitch black and he trusted that his daughter obeyed his command and kept the earrings on. He quietly checked each girl and knew that the girl without the earrings would be the guest. So, without hesitation, he began to eat her. The plan was to make it look like she left in the middle of the night because of an emergency at home. He enjoyed his feast, especially since it had been a while since he had fresh meat. When the sun began to rise, he realized that he made a terrible mistake and had actually eaten his daughter. He looked over to the other girl and saw the friend was still asleep and wearing the earrings. It was too late. He was full of outrage and devastation. He didn't know what to do and was disgusted and disappointed at himself. The friend heard his crying and woke up. She saw what had happened and let out a scream. The Aswang looked at her, eyes full of tears and blood stained on his face. In a split second, he got up and grabbed the friend. Luckily, she was still wearing the earrings so he couldn't hurt her. She managed to escape and ran outside yelling for help. All the townspeople heard what happened, gathered up some weapons, and stormed into the Aswang's home. The Aswang was still in his daughter's room, holding what was left of her body and sobbing. Everyone started beating him and tied him up. Word soon reached the whole village as punishment. The Aswang was to be executed that day, but beforehand had to walk around the village with a sign that read, I am a witch who ate his daughter. Following the execution, it was said that sometimes at night, villagers could see the Aswang standing on the rooftop of the homes of those with children.